above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. Ephesians 6 verse 16 Do you have the shield of faith to fight temptation? Are you accepting God's wisdom, His strength, and His righteousness? Today, in our devotional series, we will look at the topic, the shield of faith. Join me for the next few minutes as we reflect on God's word and leverage the power of prayer. As we examine our scripture today in Ephesians, it talks about the shield of faith. In Paul's day, there were two kinds of shields used by soldiers. One was smaller and round and could be used by moving around the arm to defend a certain part of the body which was being threatened. But there was also another kind of shield. It was much larger and it was used differently. Rather than moved around or to fend off attacks, it was planted in front of the soldiers and sometimes fixed in the ground. It covered the whole body. Sometimes, because of the nature of this shield, it was referred to as a door. To get to the soldiers, you first had to get past the door, or the shield. Soldiers crouched behind it as if they were behind a wall. For the soldiers, the shield was the first line of defense that the enemy had to get past. It protected the soldiers from arrows and spears and from the enemies so too today we are invited to take up the shield of faith to protect us from the attacks of the devil but there is a difference we are not wrestling against flesh and blood but against spiritual powers of darkness that are highly placed in this world we can never fight a spiritual enemy by natural means and so God invites us to take up the shield of faith that can protect us from the enemy. The enemy which we now face, the devil. The spiritual comparison isn't hard to see. Among the fiery arrows of Satan are lust, doubt, greed, vanity, and so forth. But faith in God, held aloft like a shield, catches them snuffs out the flame and makes them fall harmless to the ground. This kind of faith is primarily faith in action, a faith that while including doctrinal truth goes beyond mere belief. It is a faith that manifests itself in an active defense against the assaults of the enemy. Faith is trusting in God believing that he loves us and knows best for us. Thus, instead of our own, it leads us to choose his way in place of our ignorance, it accepts his wisdom. In place of our weakness, his strength. In place of our sinfulness, his righteousness. Do you have the faith of trusting God? believing that he loves you and knows what is best for you? Are you choosing God's way? Are you accepting his wisdom, his strength, and his righteousness? Today, join me in praying for the following things. Let's pray for more faithfulness in our lives, to accept the shield of faith, believing that God knows what is best for us. Pray that you will embrace the shield of faith so that you can resist temptation and have an inspiration to purity and truth. Pray for our church members in Trinidad and Tobago. Pray for members who have lost loved ones. Let us pray. Dear kind and compassionate Father, thank you for today and for sparing our lives. Please help us to take up the shield of faith to resist any attack from the devil. 
please comfort our other church members and please put a guard, a shield over our members in Trinidad and Tobago. Please continue to bless us and guide us and cover us under your blood. In your name I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today on our 85th day of our 100th day of prayer series. We know you have been blessed by this series and we want to hear from you. Let us know by sharing a recorded video or message with us by email at shortwoodsdachurch at gmail.com or WhatsApp us at 876-362-6787. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and our other social media platforms. Thank you for tuning in.